All right. You can accelerate light. You can see the interference patterns. You can actually do all this in your own house with a very inexpensive pulse red construction laser and a cell phone and take the pictures with the cell phone right up close to where the interactions are happening. And because they are high energy particles, you'll actually see the particles. They use these same kind of phones that you have in your pocket to pick up cosmic rays because they can photograph using the CMOS that's in there, complementary metal oxide semiconductors, that can pick up these extremely high energy photons. And here's what he's going to do, watch. So he's just taking a regular cheap laser, you know, no big deal, shining it through two nails, beep, there it goes. Now he's going to go to the back wall and see the interference patterns. You turn the light off, and this is a single slit. And you saw all those different bumps, those are what they call interference. Now, the reason they call them interference, they think they're flappy waves going this way and that way. And they're doing. Well, watch what's coming out of here. He's going to be spraying into the air. Now, instead of the light coming through the air and not hitting anything, it's going to hit the water droplets that are in the air and show the patterns that are in the air that you never saw. You can see them on the back wall, but he's showing them in the air. Watch. Isn't that cool? That's the, because they're coming through the laser slit in a circle. Now, let me show you. All right, you see what he's doing here? He's, he's actually showing exactly what is happening as the laser comes at us. It's a particle. Here, let me do it correctly so you can have a really good idea what we're talking about. Every light particle is a magnetic particle, all right, just like that. And it spins as it comes out through here. Now, sometimes it spins that way, sometimes it spins over this way. You see how this is up higher and this is a little lower? That's because it's spinning up here and it's coming up from underneath on this side. So, watch as he sprays this and this pattern. Now, through the center primarily is where they come. But this is a single slit, so there's no, no flap here or flap there. Now, and you could do that right in your own home. See, that's not cool. And that's all it was. That's what he started with. Just a piece of wood, a couple of nails, the laser, and then he just taking pictures with his camera. Now, some of the new ones are even much better. Okay, I'm going to take you through the experiment. All we used was a Bosch Red Pulse Laser, and it shoots pulses out just like this. But at each one of these pulse is a particle, and I'll show you the particle. All right, what you're seeing now is the same pulsed laser, only this time we put it through a Venturi. It accelerated the light and the particle streamed here and exploded at the Venturi. Let's take a look at that. All right, this is an extreme close-up, but this is the same pulsed red laser, and it starts to develop into these boxes. It goes sideways here, then it turns this way, and then it turns into this box of particles, which is the muons and the electron neutrinos. And then when they hit here, they turn into the muon and electron showers, which is the black ball stays the same, which is the muon, and the white balls turn into showers. Let's take a look at that. All right, don't forget, this is another extreme close-up, but back here was the pulse red laser. That is the particle I showed you, which was the little particle that looked similar to this. And here they explode. The black ball, which I said was a muon, leaves the electron neutrino. The muon neutrino leaves the electron neutrino. But the muon neutrino does not change. It stays black and it just reattaches on the other side of the Venturi. Now, the white ball, which was part of the black attachment, has turned into the shower exactly as CERN is looking for. Now, what does that mean? If it divided here from the black and the white, that's what's called fission. It's fission. It's a, it's a separation of these two particles. And then they fuse back together here and went back into becoming light, so it's fission and fusion. That is literally nuclear power on a desktop.
Now, just so you know, that is exactly what CERN and Fermilab want to see, is a muon neutrino attached to an electron neutrino exploding into the just stay in the muon, doesn't change, and the electron neutrino turns into a shower. That's exactly what I showed you. So this is no mystery here. And that is fission, and that is fusion, and that right there, I think we can harvest that energy, which is an ex unbelievable amount of energy. It appears that we, if we go from 5 watts to 1,000 watts right here, if we can harvest this and even get 50%, we've got 500 watts. That's a, that's, that's a ridiculous amount of increase in energy. And you can see it, so it's not something that you can't even... It's just obvious. It's so obvious it can't be missed. Don't forget, let's just say this is 5 watts. And it was just coming through here. It would have never done this until we put the Venturi there. You don't see any of this until you put the Venturi. And then you get this explosion. That is literally a nuclear explosion. Nuclear means smaller than atomic. It means down into the nucleus. Light is, is the smallest particle that they've ever known of. They don't even know what it is. They don't know if it's a wave, a particle. We just saw it's a particle. We just saw it can accelerate. We just saw it can explode and divide. We just saw dark matter and electron showers and muons. Now it's time to use this and create energy for for people that can can use it and we could make this device so simple whoops hold on all right i showed you the particles coming in and breaking apart that's the fission that's the fusion in between there is literally nuclear power and what we're going to be able to do is harvest it with a solar panel that will collect it, just like a solar panel does right now. All we're doing is light. Light is the same thing that's coming to us from the sun, only we got it on steroids big time, way big time. Now, and we don't have to be outside with this collector, so this is very, very... It's going to be a solid state device, something similar to this, that's all you need. You take this in, plug all your stuff in, you're good to go couple of little dials 110 you know uh, 110 volts or 220 whatever or you want you know 50 cycles 60 cycles because you could make them for anywhere in the world and you and any device you could plug in here and this is about enough you to run a house I would say easily because this is raw energy and you just plug your stuff into it no grid no nothing this is this is a game changer if we can make this happen and we need somebody to come along with some resources and and do this and get this engineered and get it out there it's not a big deal i don't think